hello everyone i am back with another video and if you are new to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell button for latest updates and for the hindi version of this video please check the description box and pen comment our new topic is higher order derivative it is very important topic for class 12 as well as for competition till now we have discussed differentiation of a function which is f of x y equals to f of x with respect to another function x and we will get differentiation of function f of x this dy by dx is called first order derivative now to find another derivatives or second order third order and so on we will differentiate it further like to find second order derivative we will differentiate the first order derivative with respect to x so it will become d to y upon dx square that means differentiation of dy by dx with respect to x so this dy by dx that is first order derivative is differentiated again with respect to x and we will get our another second order derivative similarly we can find third order derivative for third order we will again differentiate second order derivative with respect to x so we will get d3y upon dx q that means differentiation of second order derivative with respect to x and so on similarly we can find our nth order derivative which is dn y upon d x raised to power n which is differentiation of the previous derivative of nth term that is n minus 1th term we can write our derivatives with another notation which is y1 for dy by dx y2 for second order derivative y3 for third order derivative similarly yn for nth order derivative our question is if y equals to a e raised to power m x plus b e raised to power n x, then show that b square y upon d x square minus m plus one d y by d x plus m n y equals to zero. Here we need to find d y by d x and d two y by d x square to solve this question. So we'll start. We have y equals to a e raised to power m x plus b raised to power n x. So differentiating it with respect to x, we will get dy by dx a as it is, and differentiation of e raised to power m x is m e raised to power m x plus as it is b e raised to power n x is b as it is, and differentiation of e raised to power n x is m into e raised to power n x. Now to find d two y by d x square, we will differentiate it again with respect to x and we'll get a as it is and m as it is and differentiation of e raised to our mx is m into e raised to our mx so here both m is my own multiplication so we will get a m square e raised to our mx similarly we will get plus b n square e raised to our nx after differentiating b n e raised to our nx 
have the values of dy by dx and d2 by, by dx square. So to prove the equation, we take its left side which is d2 y by dx square minus m plus n dy by dx plus m n y. In this equation, we will put the values d2 y by dx square is a m square e m x plus b n square e n x minus m plus n as it is and the value of dy by dx plus m n as it is in value of y. Now, the two values a m square e raised to bar m x plus b n square e raised to bar n x remains same and we will multiply these two values and we will get minus a m square e raised to bar m x then we will multiply m with b n into e raised to bar n x and we will get b m n e raised to bar m x similarly minus plus minus and multiply n with these terms so it will become a m n e raised to power mx minus plus minus minus and b n square e raised to power nx. Now we will multiply mn with these both terms and it will become a m n e raised to power mx plus b m n e raised to power nx. Here we can see that this all the terms are cancelling out. a m square e raised to power nx cancels with a m square e raised to power mx. Similarly this both terms and this term cancel with this and this is with this and we will get 0 which is our right hand side. So left hand side equals to right hand side and this is proof. Next, our next question is if y equals to sin inverse x then show that 1 minus x square d2y by dx square minus x dy by dx equals to 0. So let's start the solution. We have y equals to sin inverse x. Differentiate with respect to x, we will get dy by dx equals to differentiation of sin inverse x is 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. Here we cross multiply, we will get under root 1 minus x square dy by dx and equals to 1. Differentiating again with respect to t, so sorry, with respect to x, we will get first term as it is, that is under root 1 minus x square, differentiation of second term d2y by dx square plus second term as it is, and differentiation of first term which is under root 1 minus x square and differentiation of it is 1 upon under root 2 under root 1 minus x square and now again differentiation of x square is minus 2x and differentiation of 1 is 0. So after cutting 2 by 2 we will get under root 1 minus x square dy by dx minus plus minus minus dy by dx x upon under root 1 minus x square equals to 0. So to prove this equation we will multiply this term both side by under root 1 minus x square and after multiplying under root 1 minus x square this term will become 1 minus x square dy by dx minus under root 1 minus x square is cut it by under root 1 minus x square and this has become x dy by dx equals to 0 which means Sorry everyone, there is a correction in this question. Here, square is missing. So, this has become 1 minus x square d2y by, by dx square minus x dy by, by dx equals to 0, which we have to. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to share. And for any query or suggestion, please comment in the comment section. Bye bye.